welcome to episode three and the final episode of my apartment hunting series. I applied for an apartment today. I still haven't gotten approved yet. I better be approved because the admin and application fee was pricey and it's non-refundable, but I don't feel like there's a reason for me not to get approved, so I'm really excited. Um, you'll be seeing the apartment complex that I applied to. I won't be showing you the exact model that I applied for just so that it's a, it's a big video and reveal later on. I will be showing you other models that I viewed. But I want to go over my requirements just to give you guys a refresher. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get started. So I'm going to quickly share with you some requirements that I have. So one, it has to be a one bed, one bathroom apartment. My budget is $2,000. It has to be at least 700 square feet, but the more the better. Right now, in order to get to the bathroom, you have to go through the bedroom. So I would like the bathroom to have two entries, more storage, um, a in-unit wash and dryer is a must, amenities like gym pool is a must, and it needs to be close to work. So within 10, 15 minutes. If it's more than 15 minutes, then it's too far for me. And I would love a coat closet and a balcony. So let's get into the first apartment that I toured. So the first apartment that I viewed was an A1 model. It's 722 square feet and it's $1,972. Let's take a look. So the apartment is hardwood floor all around, no carpet in the bedroom, has a pretty big pantry. The kitchen is a, is a good space. There's a kitchen island, new appliances, full fridge, very nice, farmhouse sink. So it's deep and it's pretty wide, which I love. I still thought this was pretty interesting. There's like a built-in Bluetooth system, which I thought was really, really cool. The only thing I didn't like was the living room space. Like even though it does meet my 700 square feet requirement, it still felt small. You know, we both work from home, so in the living room, we'll need space for a TV, the TV console, a couch, and two desks. So, I don't know, I just felt like it was a bit small. The bathroom was nice. Um, there was only one sink. Double sink is not a requirement. It's always nice to have, but I thought the bathroom was nice. No issues with that. Had a good closet for like towels, and then the actual closet was actually pretty nice too. It was a good space. I just think overall, the apartment was nice, modern, but the living room was just not as big as I thought it would be. Even with 700, I don't know. This is why it's so important to go in person and take a look at apartments that you're interested in because pictures, videos can be deceiving. You actually have to be there in order to get a feel for it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this apartment. I do want to share with you some of the fees. So the amenity fees, including like the gym, the pool, um, pest control, trash, is $50 a month. There's an admin fee, that's $100. Application fee, that's $200. The second apartment that I viewed was an A3 model. It was 852 square feet and $2,365. Okay, it's 800 square feet, 852 square feet, which is really big. But we are $365 over budget. <laughs> but it's so modern. I don't know. Let's let's take a look together. So the kitchen is very nice, all modern, full fridge, of course. I thought it was a great space. The living room was pretty big, I would say. Good living room size. The bedroom was nice, it was carpeted. The closet was definitely big, bigger than what we have, so that's a plus. The bathroom was nice, had a bathtub, one sink, good space. I don't know if I saw storage in the, um, in the bathroom. I don't know if I saw that. But each of the apartments do have balconies, so that's really nice. I had a coat closet, and it had like a little cubby in the front too. So for the amenities, pest control, trash again, boiler, 
um, water it's $45 a month there is an application fee let's take a look application fee is $85 administration fee is $250 deposit for a one bedroom is $300 I wonder where they get these amounts from. Administration fee, $250. Application fee, $85. And that, that's per applicant. So if you have a roommate, you would think that like you would need like one primary resident and then you can add like, a co-applicant to that application. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're separate fees because they want money. So that's two different applications. Even though you just have like one roommate, you both have to um, apply individually, which is, uh, which is weird to me, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think again. I was very close to applying, but when I looked online, the price did increase for that model. Now it's 2,400. So it's, it's, it's fluctuates, so I don't know. So the last apartment that we viewed is the one that I applied to. We viewed a total of two models. So the one that we viewed was an A4. It's 768 square feet and it's $2,030 a month. So it's a little over budget, only $30, so not too bad. Let's take a look. So this apartment complex was built in 2021 and they're still doing construction but it started in 2021, so it's very, very new. And the apartment that I applied to would be the first ones living there. So not to worry about ghosts, spirits, anything left behind. Nope, non-existent, because we're gonna be the first one that's living there, which is very nice. But do you see these cabinets? This kitchen is so, so modern. Like, look at the handles of the cabinets. And they're all soft closing, so that's nice. I know sometimes I slam the cabinets, <laughs> but this fridge is so freaking cool. I've never seen a fridge like this, and yes, I opened it. I, I opened it up. <laughs> no water filter, but the fridge was nice. The pantry was huge. There is a lot of storage in each of these apartments, which is very nice. The closet was pretty big, I have to say. Remember, I, we have four suitcases, so two of those can fit in here. Two were carry-ons. And the bathroom, oh, gee. wait until I turn on the light. I love the mirror, this is so nice. It felt like I was at a hotel. <laughs> and I love this bathtub and shower combo, so nice. And it's hard, hardwood floor throughout the whole entire apartment. So that's nice. It comes with the washer and dryer unit. And the washer and dryer looks very new too. Well, of course, because it's built 2021, but it's really fancy. And look at the balcony. It's huge. I could definitely fit two chairs and a table out here. And the view is amazing. There's a $120 monthly fee, and that's the amenities fee. And then internet, they use their own provider. I can't remember the name of it, but it's $50 a month, and then that's great because we pay about $80 a month for our internet, so this would be great. But... Yeah, we did it we did it <laughs> this is maybe like the 10th or 12th apartment that we viewed um so this was a long journey but we made it we applied um i can't wait to get approved i can't wait to get that email so i can go in take measurements and start thinking about the furniture that i want to buy but yeah let me know what you guys think i think all three apartments were great I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be an empty apartment tour coming out probably next month because even though once we get approved, we can go in, they told us, and we can like take me measurements. But I don't want to film one just yet because usually after an apartment tour, there's a moving vlog and we won't be moving until June. So it would be a large gap. <laughs> So yeah, I do want to wait for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because moving vlogs will be coming out in a couple of months. <laughs> like, yeah, June time. But yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.